hi guys and welcome to my space if you are new here my name is toyo c please subscribe thank you and like this video anyhow i was sitting down chilling thinking about life and thinking about the fact that the video i filmed this week i don't feel like posting it and i have nothing to post for this week and then it occurred to me that the last time i actually did like a q a or like I don't know told you guys about myself was two years ago and trust me there's a huge difference between me now and me then and also there were like only 10 views on that video so for my new subscribers and like people that don't really know me i feel like half of the people here are my family then there are some few people that actually don't know me here so for your sakes i decided to film like um a I know English, I promise. A life update type of video or a lucky get to know me, Sha. Just giving you guys the basics about me. So let's go. Obviously, I need to stop saying obviously firstly. But well, my name is Toyo C. Jide I am a student right now at Lagos State University studying mass communication in my final year. Thank you. Thank you. You don't need to clap. And i am a christian don't ask me for my age just know that i'm old enough um my favorite like pastime activities are like reading novels thrillers to be precise or like listening to a true crime podcast and not just any true crime podcast because there are a lot of true crime podcasts out there that don't do the right things for anybody that is interested nobody's probably interested but i'm still going to say it but like if you want to listen to a good true crime podcast you should check out roti mango by stephanie sue and maybe um mother with my husband and then true crime weekend we read those are like my top three also i like to watch a lot of youtube guy i i feel like my daily average stuff that stuff that shows on your phone is always like youtube that takes up half of my battery half of my data everything youtube will take half then all the other apps to share the rest i was obsessed with youtube um my favorite like influencer slash youtuber type person is actually amy okoli and in some ways i have tried to copy like her editing style i am obsessed with her for some weird reason i can't explain also i have just one brother we are a family of four and we are very close actually i feel like i tell my mom most things that happen in my life and then i tell my dad most things too but like there are some things that only my mom knows about but anyhow i feel like we're a close family um my favorite person in this world is my brother my older brother and i tell him most things about misha my favorite food is to be determined because i don't know what i like um my favorite color maybe black and right now my favorite artist is ice spice now a lot of people will be very concerned about that because i used to be i am let me just say this to be a big like Cardi B person but maybe because she has not been putting out her own music so far and like the only features which the features have been hitting up i don't know the vibe the connection is breaking it but when she brings back her album i know that should take you know my one spot in my life again but for now high spice is doing it for me um by that i feel like i listen to a lot of rap music and some people will say no that i don't but in my head i do um my favorite song right now is printer guy last year i had the sexual c obsession and then it died and then when he released doja it was coming back but like it's not come back fully but this ep i was the name of, i don't remember the name of the EP that i did with um dave just just messed with my head it just i like randomly during the day i used to like drop lines from sprinter here and there i don't know i'm obsessed with that song if you've not listened to it guy what are you waiting for um i think i consider myself an introvert i don't even consider myself an introvert from my hobbies you will know i'm an introvert kind of um i don't like going out and when i do go out i rather is with people that i know or like my friends if you've ever seen me in a social setting i've probably been very very awkward because i am socially awkward actually i don't know how to relate with people very well it's very bad like i can't i can't relate with like older people but people of my age guy no don't do that to me i'm very awkward around them unless the person has like a very contagious and like nice vibe and they like contaminate 
this video is testing my english and they contaminate me and hey, then i'll not like reciprocate the energy but if you're not giving me anything guy which that's how i'll be looking at you i'm very bad like that and like half of the time i don't know what to say in social settings which means that i am an introvert i'm a selective introvert there are some times i just want to go out even though i never end up going but like the feeling is there i think i have a team for danger i cannot explain it's not like my own danger i am somebody that does not take a lot of risks in fact i don't take any risks in my life if a decision is risky i probably will not be taking that decision that's probably what has like held me back the most but that's not what i'm trying to say i'm trying to say that i like to read like a lot of thrillers thriller novels where like the like main person is putting themselves in like tough situations on purpose i feel like the main character is probably dumb and i'm like oh dear why are you doing this but like i live vicarious vicariously through the characters in the novels english and maybe that's why i like thrillers but i don't take risks personally in my life and some will argue that i should and i need to but i have survived so far so what are you telling me anyhow oh and i'm also scared of chickens like i had like one traumatic experience when i was small where i was trying to be cinderella or snow white who is the one that has a lot of animals i don't know which one i think it's snow white cinderella was i don't know i was trying to be one of them and then i picked up a chick and then i was looking at it and i was like maybe nine eight i was eight and then i was playing with this chick and then the mother came out of nowhere and then she pursued me Ooh. I will just be dramatic, but anytime I remember that day, I'm always sad, guy. The mother pushed me, I used that beak to scratch my leg and say that day I'm scared of chickens. I cannot explain it. Like, if I see a chicken on the road, I used to form tough guy, but in my head, I'm calculating the distance between us and how fast I'll have to run. Since that day, I've not had any incident, and I think it's because I'm being cautious. I don't think chickens like me, so. But I can eat them. Anyhow, um, I also really don't like sh ice cream and a lot of people have called me psychopaths for that But it's just too sweet. I don't know what you people are looking for there. There's no joy. It's cold. It's sweet. It's ugh, in your mouth Why are you doing that to yourself? I don't know. I don't like cake icing because it's also too sweet I don't like setting chocolates, but I like some but like setting chocolates. I don't like um I have this weird obsession with Rema and it's not like I have a crush, it's not a crush, this is deeper than crush, it's not like a liking type of obsession, it's like, I feel like we will be very good friends, I can't explain it, so yeah, if you know him, or you know someone that knows him, or you know someone that knows somebody that knows him, and you happen to, you know, want to make my life, because not just my day, not, meeting you will not just make my day, it's make my life, if you want to make my life, do something about that information, thank you. And I consider myself a very nice person. I'm going to put nice in quotes because I feel like you can ask some people and they'll tell you that I'm a very stuck up, snobby person. But I promise that's not me. I'm, probably, I'm a shy person too, so that's why. But like I consider myself a nice person because I care about the people I care about. But if I don't care about you, that's like a different thing. Which is why my nice is in quotes because it's selective niceness that I have. I can be very nice to you and just not care about you. I cannot be, I don't know how to be rude to people but like i can turn off my emotions towards the person and i feel like that's worse than being rude to somebody anyhow the bottom line of what i'm saying is that i consider myself a nice person and you should too wink can't wink to save my life so take it take what you can get um i feel like those are like the basic things i feel like those are the basic things that anybody would want to know i think I hope I don't know it sounds about right um I'm in my final year of uni right now so my plan moving forward in life is to get my acts together I plan to focus on improving my video editing skills and maybe even like maybe after my final exam the plan is to go to maybe a training academy or anyway i don't know which academy yet but like i want to specialize in vfx and i know it's very nice and very very cool and i hope i actually go through it it um in terms of my channel hmm do i have plans no but i have like a lot of ideas for videos i want to do and hopefully i will do them the aim is to post two videos a week that'll be like one vlog and one sit down video 
but the thing is i am more partial to vlogs i like vlogging more than i like doing sit down videos so i feel like we can always expect a vlog every week but like the sit down videos might be on and off i don't know unless somebody holds me accountable which somebody should hold me accountable please um and hopefully this channel will grow and i can have it as like a full-time job and like be doing video editing on the side when i grow up i don't want to work for anybody which is not a bad thing to want to work for somebody i just feel like i can't do it when i did my it i figured out that waking up early is not my problem waking up to go somewhere is my problem i don't like living in my house so i feel like i want to set myself up in a career that with see i don't know english but like i want to have a career that i can work from home and still make enough money i'm making in another currency because naira right now is not giving it's not giving at all i think that will be it for this video i'll see you guys in my next one please 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 if you are subs if you are not subscribed and you watch this point there's something that has held you from i don't know how many minutes this has been to get to this point eh but we all want to subscribe thank you and like this video, comment, share, tell a friend to 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 not tell a mommy about it. Thank you. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.